Hey everybody. So it's been a while since I've done a Power Ranger Lightning Collection video, and that is for obvious reasons, because the line is on hiatus, um, which I don't think it's going to be coming back personally. Maybe that's just the pessimist in me. Um, but it's really a shame, because a lot of the figures that we got, uh, you know, Early on were great, uh, then there were some missteps kind of in the middle, but then uh, the last set of figures were really good. The Turbo Red Ranger was excellent. Uh, the Minotaur uh, was probably my favorite of all the monsters that they released. So um, it's a shame that uh, the line is probably done, and uh, unless someone else gets the rights to make 6-inch Power Ranger figures, we might be out of luck. So anyway, let's talk about something that's much more fun and much more positive. So this is the Beast Morphers Red Ranger. Um, the Beast Morpher season definitely had what I would say some ups and downs. Um, some of it was good, some of it was kind of eh, um, but overall it was a good season. I definitely think that it was uh, it was a fun show for sure. So, um, I was actually not going to get any of the Beast Morpher, Beef, Beast Morpher figures, easy for me to say, uh, just because, you know, it wasn't one of those seasons that I, you know, enjoyed a whole ton, and it obviously has no nostalgia for me. Um, and then one day I was actually at an outdoor flea market, and somebody had the uh, Beast Morphers Red Ranger. Um, it was uh, in box, but the box was in really horrible shape. Um, and I think it was like 10 or 12 bucks. So I bought it and I was like, well, this is fine because I can just get Red Rangers. Um, so I've had the uh, Red Ranger here for quite a while. And uh, it's a neat figure. I mean, you know, the, the costume design with the, you know, the straps and the zipped up jacket and everything. I don't know. I feel like that's kind of weird. Um, but overall, it looks pretty cool. So then I got to thinking, well... Maybe I'll just complete this set for the heck of it. Mostly because on Rogue Toys, which is uh, a, a website slash toy store that I've definitely talked about before on the channel, they had the Gold Ranger and the Blue Ranger for, I think they were about 16 bucks each. And on Rogue Toys, if you sign up for a membership, uh, you get points uh, from purchases to put towards future purchases. And you have to spend 50 bucks to get free shipping. So um, I can't remember what else it was that I was looking at on Rogue Toys, but uh, there was something that I definitely wanted. And I, I needed to add more stuff to get to 50 bucks to get the free shipping. And I usually search, you know, Power Rangers, TMNT, DC Universe, uh, G.I. Joe, Star Wars. You know, I, I, I search the different categories of things that I collect. And lo and behold, they had the Beast Morphers Gold and Blue Rangers um, for a little less than retail. So I thought, well, why not get them? Then, of course, I had to pick up the Yellow Ranger, which I got from Amazon. And I had some uh, gift card money on Amazon that I used towards this one. So I think this one, I mean, it was regular price. I think it was the $24.99 price point on Amazon. Um, but I think I got like $5 knocked off or whatever. So that's okay. Um, I have been seeing the Yellow Beast Morpher figure in Target for quite a bit. But I did not want to pay the full retail price. So that, of course, means that they never gave us the Silver Ranger to complete this team and that sucks um so you know it's one thing where the the what i think is going to be the final wave of figures uh they started all new teams and to me that was crazy i think probably what happened is they were already in production uh like that they were already far along and then uh you know the hasbro people were like well you know what we're not doing this anymore probably because it's not making them enough money um, and they decided, well, we're just going to release these figures anyway, uh, even though it's the first Turbo, um, the first Lightspeed Rescue, and the first RPM Ranger. Uh, so they ended the line with, uh, you know, Turbo Red, Lightspeed Blue, and RPM Yellow, and we probably aren't going to get any more of those. So that sucks. Um, so what I decided to do was give myself a little project 
And I have created from many different parts and pieces a Beast Morphers Silver Ranger. And uh, it's not a great custom, but it is not bad as far as I'm concerned. So I was looking at different pictures and stuff online uh, because, I, you know, I, I don't have the season like on DVD or anything. And I, you know, wasn't about to just try to watch a bunch of seasons. So I googled pictures and this is the best that I could come up with. Um, so this is a Marvel Legends body. I think it is the uh, body of Multiple Man, uh, or it might be Havoc. Actually, I think it's Havoc's body. I think Multiple Man I used for something else. Um, the head is G.I. Joe Classified Snake Eyes that I, have, of course, painted. I have added lots and lots of silver paint to this figure. The boots are actually from the Lightspeed uh, Blue Ranger figure, uh, oddly enough, because they just matched up with what the character should look like. I used some sculpting material to kind of make some of those spikes that stick out of him. Uh, funny enough, this uh, little blue uh, chest piece that's actually from the A-Squad um, Ranger from uh, SPD. Um, but yeah, and the belt is, uh, I think, an X-Men belt. <laughs> so that is my Beast Morpher Silver Ranger Custom. Um, if I bring in the Gold Ranger here just to kind of compare and stand next to him, because, you know, they were obviously, like, best friends in the show. Um, so, you know, it's not too bad. Um, you know, it's, it's one of those things where it was going to be very hard to try to customize something that looked, like, super perfect, because the Silver Ranger really has its own look. Like, it's kind of like you know an amalgam of like the blue ranger and the gold ranger and then he's got like some stuff just of his own um so you know it wasn't like i could just kind of repaint one of these guys that's what i do a lot with if you uh, check out my other power ranger videos you'll see that i've done lots of power ranger customs and um, I usually, you know, use the base body of another figure that we've gotten, um, you know, and just kind of paint it and make some additions to it. But this one was really tough because this one had uh, just lots of differences, uh, not a lot in common with the other figures. Plus, I didn't really want to spend another 20-ish dollars on, let's say, a gold ranger and a blue, well, it would be $40 to get both of them and use the different parts. Because, I mean, I could do that. Like, I could have used the blue ranger body. Um, added paint, used the Gold Ranger, uh, you know, um, armor piece and, and belt. And, uh, I just didn't want to spend a lot of money. So I used parts from my, uh, you know, my, um, custom pieces, my fodder box. I just used a bunch of parts I already had to create this, I guess you could say Frankenstein of a figure. Um, but yeah, so I already had all these parts, so this didn't really cost me anything except for my time and what little bit of paint I used. Um, and it works for me. I mean, I'm glad that I have at least something that looks like the complete team now. Um, and I really doubt we're ever going to get a Beast Morpher Silver, uh, in the Lightning Collection line. Um, so, uh, this is going to work for me and this is going to complete the team. Um, so I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd uh, love to see what you think about the Power Ranger Lightning Collection and its uh, future or lack thereof. And uh, any other customizers out there who watch the channel and, uh, you know, feel free to share some ideas and some pointers. And I will do the same on future videos. So thanks very much. Feel free to like and subscribe and have a good one.